elbow patches. Welcome back guys, it's Greg. Did you know that some people feel that we have been expertly trolled by super genius Mindy Kaling? It's been almost two weeks since Velma was excreted onto our collective social consciousness, and this show is so insanely bad that people are grappling with its existence by trying to invent brainy, satirical reasons that it was made. Well, you see, it's brilliantly supposed to make you hate it because actually it's deconstruct- No! It's just dumb. This is some Lovecraftian horror type shit where the show is not really the scary part, it's the realization of the fact that shows like this are allowed to exist in this universe that is driving men to madness as they try to make it make sense. Some people are even suggesting that the very liberal Mindy Kaling and Charlie Grandy are actually conservative plants. That's hilariously incorrect, but it also goes to show just how crazy online social justice politics has gotten. If this show does seem like a parody of liberal politics, it's only because Caitlin and the other writers' LA Twitter version of racial justice has jumped the shark so fucking hard that it is now more racist than any grand wizard has ever been. Now, on the one hand, it is possible that this is all just a big elaborate scam for views or something. Poe's law of the internet would tell us that it's basically impossible to tell if the show is actually a parody of the content of the show. But another famous rule in Occam's Razor would tell tell us that the simpler explanation is probably correct. That Kaling and the other writers just made a lazy, terrible show. The people trying to find super deep meaning in this show kind of remind me of the Trump supporters that thought he was like on another level playing 4D chess and seven moves ahead the whole time. Truth is, the guy was impulsive and sometimes he just said dumb shit. We may never know the answers, but the amount of hate watching this show got led HBO to immediately greenlight a second season. Forgive us, Father, we know not what we have done. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? <sighs> Unfortunately, that is the power of hate, and it is a scary trend for television if this works. There are excellent stories out there that are way more deserving of your time than these terrible shows, especially in books. I've said in the past, everybody needs to give audiobooks a try, even if it's just like during your commute. Recently, I started doing the affiliate thing with Audible, which is where my family's 260 book audio library is. There will be a link in the description. You get a free month, I get a couple bucks. I recommend the Cradle series by Will White if you want fantasy, but you don't want constant fucking in your books. Your kids might also enjoy one of their originals, the Mistwick School of Magic Craft, I think it was called. The kids do magic, but only if they correctly play music. My kids loved it. Despite Velma being the lowest rated show in IMDb history, it still got views, and the suits at HBO don't seem to care if those were hate views or not. They claim it's their highest viewed animated premiere ever, and your subscription money spends the same no matter what your motivation was. I wanna say that this isn't a good long-term viable strategy to just continue serving you a big steamy pile of a show, but TLC is still doing fine, so I don't know. Sister Wives is on its 18th season, did you know that? 18. Netflix has been banking on this trend for a while too, and I, I hate to say it seems to be working. Their subscriber numbers are back up. I, they, they advertise these goofy shows that are controversial on purpose, but they get the views. They make one season, they get the clicks, and they move on. Just last spring, I made fun of a uh, first kill in a previous video. It's vampires, it's teenagers, they're lesbians. Isn't that flashy? Did that one do well? They gonna make a second season? And it's gone. Now, this has been an issue with Netflix for some time. They'll give anything a shot for one season, and if it doesn't immediately go viral, they can it. Problem is, it seems like more and more shows are trying to get that virality by being purposely awful and edgy. You guys remember when we thought clickbait articles were bad? Well, now clickbait has come to television. Whether it was by design or not, Velma is so mind-bogglingly bad that people are tuning in out of morbid curiosity, and they seem to be continuing to watch this train wreck just to see how many bodies and severed limbs they pull from the wreckage. Listen, your time and attention is a commodity, and these media companies are clamoring to get it. Don't sell yourself short by continuing to give it up for these cheap gimmicks. Like, you gotta make them work for it. You're not Rob Schneider, you're Julia Roberts, and don't you forget it. My sincere, genuine hope for the rest of this season and the next, if they truly make it, is like a Morbius situation where the studio gets tricked into thinking that everybody actually wants this slop, but nobody shows up. They absolutely deserve to lose money on this. Yeah, I've seen the weird frame stills of Velma's crazy rictus murder smile from episode three or four. I haven't watched them and I'm not going to. Sure, I could make videos about how hilariously awful they are and it would surely get views, 
But much like starting an OnlyFans, I have to ask myself, what is the cost to my sanity and dignity? Guys, our time is limited here, and there are more worthwhile things to make videos about. I get it, it's hard to pull your eyes away from something that's just so horrible, you can't even believe it's real. Hell, it's difficult for me not to make rage bait videos. The numbers don't lie, they work but we have to ask ourselves where our actions lead us. If I just make angry videos all the time, what does that make me in the end? If you just watch things that you hate all the time, where does that leave you? Look, if you watch the first two episodes of Elma just to see what all the hubbub was about, I get it. That's perfectly fine. But now you know the true depths of this show's depravity and there is no need to waste any more of your time. Do not give this hateful shite any more of your attention, especially when there are so many amazing stories in the world. If you got a subscription just to watch this show, make some lemonade, watch Last of Us, it's outstanding. And if you like shows about awful people that are actually still well-written and funny, you need to watch Veep. I see let the whale hang loose. Who am I offending? Uh, show of hands? Yeah. People also tell me that White Lotus and Our Flag Means Death are well worth your time. Time is too precious to waste on garbage television. Thanks for watching. See you next time.